Hello YouTube, Ford360 here. Today we're doing our Stage 1 upgrades, Part 1, so we have a two-part series, considering we need to put in new valve springs, but I need to make a new video pretty quickly, so we'll just be doing exhaust and air filter. We'll also be putting on a new throttle cable, because right now this is just aircraft cable, I think that's what it's called. So, we're moving our exhaust and intake all right so first thing we'll be put putting out removing and then replacing is our exhaust we're removing the albeit very quiet restrictive exhaust for a straight pipe header so these are just 10 millimeter and good news is if you do break the gasket on here they do ship you a new set of gasket. A new new set of gasket. Gaskets. Oh, never mind. Not 10 mil. You know, a lot of this stuff on the motor is a 10 millimeter. It might be 11. No. Well, what? 13. That would be what it is. 13. I just don't believe it. Now, what having a be better flowing exhaust will make it loud. So, if you live in a residential neighborhood, they do also sell on Go Power Sports a less restrictive muffler. It'll still be what, loud, but it'll be less loud. It'll be a little bit quieter. But if you're shooting for all out power and you don't necessarily live in town, go for it. Now, part of this exhaust gasket did come off on here but it looks good enough to reuse on so back on it goes and that's looking cool Ooh, can I get that on there? barely Oof, it's gonna be a struggle let's get the one side on and see if I can even put it on there I'm not too sure now. Alright, let's tighten it down. Oof, this is not going together as I thought it would. A little bit difficult to get it on there. All right, there we go. And you'll need something else to get on here. This will not fit under there. But now we'll move on to the intake. All right, next modification is air filter. Now, all these mods are doing is introducing more air and fuel into the engine and then having a better, more efficient way of getting it out of the motor. Because once you introduce more fuel and air, you also have to be, get it out as quickly as possible or else it'll run too rich and run poorly or hardly at all. So that's what the straight pipe is for, for maximum flow out. So we can have maximum flow in. I think we'll need a pliers, pair of pliers for this. Alright, so on here you'll need to move the uh, choke and fuel on off over and in here there should be inside the air box a tube right here. You can cut that short, not too short, but hang on. Another thing you want off of here is this breather tube goes right onto the to vent the 
crankcase pressure from the engine. So, we have a vent to kill filter for it. Vent filter kit, rather. Okay, right here. And you can save this stuff. I mean, if you have a lot of motors that you work on on a daily basis, it's a good idea to replace that. So now, we shall grab the parts that we need. Where is the last bit of this? Alright. So we have our carb jet, and also this kit comes with new gaskets. If you have an older engine or it's just one with some run time, it's always good to replace them, especially if, well, they're broken, because then you will not really run at all. And you want this part with the, just a little hole right here. That's mount this bracket, because this will just pop right off otherwise. So the bracket is there to hold it down. And you can adjust it from there. I'll just set it down. And this kit run you about close to 100 bucks. But it's a great starter. And plus, with this type of kit, you're only a billet rod, flywheel, and a cam away from having a stage two, since I am already incorporating 18 pound valve springs into this, because I may remove the governor down the line. I just don't feel very safe with it because these motors, it's kind of hit and miss if you can remove the governor. Some people say they have the best of luck with them, and some people don't even get to run them. They just are junk from the start. So just double check your engine before you put anything on it. Make sure it's going to work. You know, break the motor in. Let it run a little while, run it stock, and if no problems arise, oh, can I get that on there? Not. How on earth are you supposed to get that on there? All right, there we go. A little bit of a tight fit on here. that is done, we can put on our air filter. Now, so, now you might want to take into consideration that if you don't buy them from like Go Power Sports like I did, uh, which I was sponsored, hit me up with Power Sports, please. Um, sometimes they won't have like a thin film of oil underneath because I just put this cover on, but what you will typically want to do is spray just a thin film of oil and the oil will catch dirt that goes onto it. You don't want to spray too much or else it'll suck it into the motor and it'll smoke. I have it facing right about here. You don't need a flathead to put this on. Well, actually, what I should do be doing first is I should do put on this little bracket and then adjust it. And all these little individual pieces do come with the kit. going to be tight fit. I think that's going to have to come back off again. I'll be back. All right, so jet change. You're going to want to remove the float ball right here. Make sure you catch any gas and dispose of it properly so you don't cause a fire. And you want to take a very tiny flat screwdriver. And remove it. The stock jet. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Sometimes it can't be. It gets stuck up in there and then it's impossible to get them out. I am cutting the brass, so I gotta better be careful. Let me turn the camera off so I don't feel pressure. All right, so you probably cannot see it, but it's here. 
it's in the dark because I have nowhere else to run it. Can't run it inside. That's not a good idea. So here goes lots of money. Choke. Yeah, choke. Fuel. Hang on. Alright, that's a choke. I gotta put my glove on, dang it. Actually, no gloves. Okay. I'm scared. I'm gonna set you guys like right here, body of it. guys i'm so happy anyway guys i'm running out of time so this has been for 360